Type on the screen. Can everyone hear? Type on the screen, please. Okay, Enel, can you hear? Okay, good. Enel Hamdulillah, wa salat, wa salam Allah, wa rasulullah. We're continuing with our topic of the principles of Islam. And we spoke about how there are so many things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis that can invalidate our belief in Allah. And that's why it's so important for us to review the principles of our belief system. Yesterday we spoke about how so many of us claim to believe in Allah, but we did not what we invalidate our belief by denying his names, denying the fact that Allah is the giver, Allah is a sustainer. We will attribute these attributes of his to humans rather than he. That other people can give life, other people can heal when Allah is the healer. He just uses us to be the tools or the vehicle to do what he wants to be done. So we have to be very careful about that. And today we're going to speak about another thing that we do that can invalidate our faith, which is to swear by someone or something other than Allah. Listen to what Allah says in the Quran and the interpretation, the meaning. Do not set up rivals with the law and worship. Well, while you know that Allah alone has the right to be worshipped. Again, all of us, if you were to ask the average Muslim, do you worship anything other than Allah? They'll say, no, we don't. But in reality, they do. We talked about how so many people worship their children by, by putting their children before Allah. Their husbands, their wives, their jobs, their money, their property. By making these things equal with Allah. Their desires. You won't, You can't stop smoking. You know smoking cigarettes is haram, but you won't quit. You know marijuana is haram. You know cocaine is haram, but you won't quit. This is taking your desires and your likes and your dislikes and making them equal to Allah. This is worshiping them. Okay, so we have to be careful of that. And also we have to be careful of, you know, showing off. We talked about that too. A lot of people like to do what good deeds that are pleasing to Allah, but they're doing them to please the people instead. We have to be careful of that form of association too. And also, even when we speak, how many of you have made the statement, thanks to Allah and my husband, thanks to Allah and my husband, I have a good life. Oh my God, we, a lot of us make statements like that. Well, thanks to Allah and Sister Layla, I'm a good Muslim, a stock for law. You have equated me with the law. You've put me on the same level with the law. You are saying that the reason why you're a good Muslim is because of me and Allah. No, this is associating partners with him. Okay, what you should say is, thanks to Allah first and foremost, I am a good Muslim. And, th and secondly, thanks to Sister Layla for her teaching me the religion. You know, we have to be more clear. Had it not been for Allah and Sister Layla, no, 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 no. Do not associate partners. You're making Sister Layla uh, uh, equal to Allah. Had it not been for Allah first and foremost, and then Sister Layla and her teachings and her method of teaching me, we have to be more specific, specific in how we word things because so many of us, you know, uh, just like we associate partners with Allah by denying his attributes so easily, we do the same with our tongue. And especially when it comes by swearing. When it comes to swearing, listen to what the prophet said. The prophet said, whoever swears by something other than Allah has disbelieved in him or associated partners with him. A lot of us swear by things all the time other than Allah. Also, the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do not say with the will of Allah and the will of that person, but instead say with the will of Allah and then with the will of that person. How many of you say, I swear by the stars? I swear by my grandmother. I swear on my children. 
We don't do that. This is associating partners with a law. If, if you're going to swear, you swear by a law. Do not swear by your children. Do not swear by the star, the moons. Don't swear on your dead relatives. This is all associating partners. And again, do not say if it had not been for a law and Sister Layla. Instead, said say if it had not been for a law first and foremost, and then the teachings of Sister Layla. Be careful how we word things. One of the early scholars said that he hated to say, I seek refuge in a law and in you. You can't say that. Okay, because no one has the power to protect you unless a law allows it. So don't go around saying, I seek protection or I seek refuge in a law and in you. Oh, oh, I want, I, I seek your help, your protection. I see only you and a, only you and a law can protect me. A stock the law. Only a law is the protector. But what you can say is, I seek Allah's refuge first and then yours. You have to put Allah first and foremost. I'm seeking Allah's help first and then your help. Does everybody understand? Again, simple wording. We have to be so careful how we word things. And that's why I am so big on you guys when it comes to the quizzes. I tell you guys to check how you say stuff. It would probably be better if y'all used a microphone. But since you guys prefer to type instead of use a microphone, you have to be careful how you write things. Because you can give the wrong idea. Okay? The wrong message. A law first and then say Allah first and foremost and then you so again guys don't go around swearing by anything other than Allah to swear by something other than Allah is a form of shirk whether it's minor or major it's still something that you don't want to do don't swear on your children don't swear by your grandmother don't swear by the sun or the moon or the stars Instead, swear by Allah. First of all, you shouldn't swear at all unless you really, really have to. Okay? And for those of you who speak Arabic, wa means and and thuma means then. Understand the difference between I swear by Allah wa, and, and you. I swear by Allah wa baba. Allah and baba. Instead, I swear by Allah Thuma Baba. Okay? No, don't swear by anything but Allah. But I'm, I'm, let me use another example. Um, I seek refuge in Allah and I seek refuge also in my father. Wa is and Thuma then. I seek refuge in Allah first and foremost Thuma my father. Because my father is in a, in a position to protect me. So be careful of that. When you say and, you're equating that person to the same level as Allah. Okay? And also, never swear by your forefathers. Never swear by anything else. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Do not swear by your forefathers. Whoever swears by Allah, let him speak the truth. In other words, if you're going to swear by Allah, it better not be a lie. And the one for whom the oath is taken in the name of Allah should be satisfied with it. And whoever is not satisfied is not from the, from the slaves of Allah. So again, here again is the hadith, the proof, the dalil, that you cannot swear by your fathers and all of that. Swear by Allah if you're taking an oath. If you're taking an oath, you swear by Allah and nothing else. Don't even swear and don't swear by the Bible. That's why we don't, we don't swear by the Bible. Okay, you swear by Allah and that's it. Nothing else. All right, okay, so we'll stop right here for today. Again, check your wording. Check how you say things. That's why this topic 
is so important to review the principles of faith. This website should be packed with people who want to review what the principles of faith are, who want to review the things that can invalidate your belief. But unfortunately, there's only 10 people here. 10 people here because people think, oh, I already know that stuff. It's not important. Well, what are, are you going around swearing by your children? Swearing on your grandmother's grave? Are you going around saying thanks to Allah and my husband, my life is good? When you should be instead saying thanks to Allah first and foremost and then my husband. This class is important. Okay, we'll stop right here. If you guys have any questions or comments, inshallah, you can type them on the screen. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Shalom la ilaha ila anta staghfiruka wa atubu ilaika.